Okay, we're looking at Progress Monitoring Assessment 8.5 A and B, and I encourage you to use your notes and the textbook pages from Lesson 1 to help you. Number one, there are three main types of subatomic particles found within the atom. Which of these particles are positively charged? Okay, remember that our three subatomic particles are protons, neutrons, and electrons. If you remember this, um, Venn diagram that we did, there's a hole punch through it, but it says that protons are the ones that are positively charged, so you need to select C. Okay, electrons are negatively charged, neutrons have no charge, protons are positive charge, and there's scantrons are just, that's a, an answer that just was in there to fool you. Okay, you're studying an atom of a known element. The nucleus of the atom contains eight protons and nine neutrons. The atom is electrically neutral. If it's electrically neutral, that means if you have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight protons, if, you're, uh, if the atom's electrically neutral, you're also going to have eight electrons. So how many electrons does this atom have? It has eight. What is the mass of the atom? The mass of an atom is protons plus neutrons. Okay, And for this atom that's eight protons and nine neutrons for a total of 17. What is the atomic number of this atom? The atomic number is your number of protons. So I look over there in the question and it says eight protons, so my atomic number is eight. What element is represented by the atom? Well, let's look at the periodic table and find what has atomic number um, eight. Okay, and I look right here. Oxygen has eight for an atomic number, so this element that I'm describing is oxygen. All right, now we're on number six. Which two subatomic particles contribute the most to the mass of an atom? Well, remember, scantrons is just a crazy answer that's put in there to throw you off. Electrons have almost no mass, only one eighteen hundredth of an AMU. Neutrons have a mass of one AMU. Protons have a mass of 1 AMU. So it says which two subatomic particles contribute the most to the mass of an atom? That's going to be your protons and your neutrons. Which subatomic particles are found in the nucleus of an atom? Okay, electrons are found in the electron cloud. Neutrons and protons both are found in the nucleus. So you're going to pick um, B and C, protons and neutrons, okay, mastrons, does, you know, that's, that's a word that's just craziness, okay. All right, number eight, protons, neutrons, and electrons are collectively known as, um, they're not elements because even though they make up elements, protons, neutrons, and electrons by themselves are not elements. Um, it's not the charge. Those are all subatomic particles of an atom, meaning that they're particles that make up the atom. What is the charge of the electron, the neutron, and the proton? Well, electrons have a negative charge, neutrons have no charge, and a proton has a positive charge. Electrons are negative, electrons are neutral. Nope, so I can eliminate C. Electrons are positive. Nope, I can eliminate D, so I'm down to A and B. Neutrons are neutral, yes. Protons are positive, yes. Neutrons are positive, nope, and nope. Okay, so A says electrons are negative, neutrons are neutral, and protons are positive. Number 10, the charge of an atom is determined by, well, it's determined by the, the things within the atom that have a charge. Your protons are positively charged, 
and your electrons are negatively charged. You're not going to consider neutrons because neutrons have no charge. So the answer is D. Okay, use the following information to answer questions 11 through 14. An atom has 18 neutrons, 17 protons, and 17 electrons. What is the mass of the atom? Well, we're going to consider the things that are most massive, and those are protons and neutrons. So I have 17 plus 18, and that equals 35. So my mass is 35. What is the identity of this atom, meaning what element is it? Well, for that, I look at the number of protons. Okay, so I need to find something on the periodic table that has 17 protons. Okay, 17 protons belongs to Cl, which is chlorine. What is the charge of this atom? To know charge, you need to look at the positively charged protons and the negatively charged electrons. I have 17 electrons and 17 protons, so they completely cancel each other out. This atom has no charge. What is the atomic number for this atom? Well, the atomic number is the same as the number of protons. Okay, So we've got 17 protons. The atomic number is 17. Number 15, magnesium has become an ion with a charge of, okay, so first of all you need to make this correction, that was a typo, magnesium becomes a plus 2 charge, okay, and we actually did this one together in class, so we want to know how did magnesium become a plus 2 charge. Okay, so here's our situation that we drew out. Okay, magnesium originally has two electrons in the second, sorry, in the third energy level, but it loses those two electrons and now only has 10 electrons. So it has two more protons now than it has electrons, so that's why it's a positive two. So it becomes a positive two charge because it lost two electrons. Use the following information to answer questions 16 and 17. A certain atom has 11 electrons, 8 neutrons, and a charge of negative 1. Negative 1 tells you that there is one more electron than you have protons. Okay, So if you have 11 electrons, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and you have a charge of negative 1, you've got one of those electrons that's not balanced by a proton from the nucleus. So that would mean that you only have 10 protons. Okay, so you're going to have 10 protons. That's not the answer to this question. What element does this atom represent? Well, now that I know that there are 10 protons, I can figure out what element that represents. 10 protons is neon. Okay. Okay, the mass of this atom is going to be protons and neutrons together. So that's going to be 8 neutrons and 10 protons. The mass is going to be 18. Okay. All right, number 18, the number of valence electrons in an atom determines. All right, um, we put on the Venn diagram is that electrons are responsible for chemical behavior. Valence electrons are responsible for chemical reactivity, answer choice B. Which of the following distinguishes an element from all other elements? Okay, that is the number of protons. It's the protons that identify the element. It doesn't matter about neutrons, doesn't matter about how many electrons. It's the number of protons that identifies the element. How many electrons can occupy the first lowest energy level in an atom? That's going to be two. Two in the first. In the second energy level, you can have eight. In the third energy level, you can have eight, okay? 
All right. 21 through 24. Which element has six protons in its nucleus? Whichever one has an atomic number of six. That's carbon. Which two elements have the same number of valence electrons? Well, that's going to be, in this case, beryllium. And I'm just going to abbreviate with BE and magnesium. And if you look at your periodic table, you'll notice that they are in the same column. And they're in the same column because they have the same number of valence electrons. Which element from the table has the greatest number of protons? That's going to be the atom with the greatest atomic number. That's going to be magnesium. How many neutrons does beryllium typically have? Okay, so if this is the atomic mass, you round it off to nine. Um, neutrons, remember, you can get neutrons by saying mass number minus atomic number. So nine, oh, let me move that up. Nine minus four, beryllium usually has five neutrons.